Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. So this is gonna be a little bit of a different video for me. Uh, I typically don't do, I do, I've reviewed some stuff over when I've gotten some stuff done, some, some unboxings and a few things like that, but typically I don't do a lot of like tool reviews and, and, and definitely not head to head stuff. And um, framing nailers is one I'm going to do and that was just because of the things of that I've changed, it's changed in the last couple of weeks. So. A little background, I have had the Milwaukee framing nail with a 30 degree. It's a cordless one, and I bought that because I was within the DeWalt system. I've got a lot of the uh, stuff that I really like about the DeWalt's. Um, they have uh, you know, a lot of great tools. Uh, I'm running now stuff into the 60 volt, and I run the table saw, I run the, the Sawzall. Um, various other grinders and uh, drywall tools, a lot of different ones. And I'm and overall, I'm really happy with it. But I've always been frustrated with this framing gun. So a few weeks ago, I was framing with the DeWalt and it just was a real struggle to work with it. So I thought, you know what, let's try, let's, let's try something different. And, um, go out and look and see what's out there. So I kind of looked at the Metabo and I looked at the Milwaukee and they're, my understanding, they're very, very similar uh, technologies in these. Uh, they're both battery powered and I believe at least on the Milwaukee, you can get a 21 degree and a 30 degree uh, framer. And I know you get a 30 in the Metabo, but I don't remember whether you can get one in the uh, a 21 degree. Uh, so. So I went out and bought that, and it was pretty quick that um, the Milwaukee was a lot better of a tool. So let me walk through some of the, uh, I'll, I'll shoot some nails and kind of show you how, what some of my frustration is with the Milwaukee, and, or excuse me, with the DeWalt and not the Milwaukee. So let's try that and we'll go from there. So uh, first I'll talk about the, the DeWalt. Um, it's a DCN uh, 692. Um, it is a 30, um, 30 degree framing nailer. Uh, this is set up where it has a spinning motor and then when you pull the trigger it actually releases a, the, an actuator that will actually catch on that wheel and drive it forward. And um, it's got two speeds, so you got a slower speed if, on, on, if you're doing smaller nails. I tend to almost always do um, like three and eight, three and a quarter inch. Framing nails is primarily all I use this for. I'm just, I don't really use it for anything, any smaller stuff. Um, I've got other things I use for that. So you can change the speeds. It does have an adjustment in here that you can, uh, a little detent that you can adjust the depth on it. Um, that hasn't been too much of a uh, problem, and it is set up, always set at the lowest setting, because what ends up happening is when I do use this, uh, more often than not, it doesn't fully drive the nail. Uh, I don't know if it's the way it's set up, but it, it wants to kick back and um, won't drive it. Uh, we'll drive, let me try, grab a board here. We'll see how so it does. So there it is. That one's pretty flush. This one's a little proud. That one's a lot proud. This one's less proud, and that one's down close. And it tends to want to uh, bounce back. Now, if I get in here and if I hold it down. It will drive it, but I don't want to be, you know, sitting there having to throw my weight into it every single time that I want to drive a nail. The other thing that happens is um, it will jam. And then it's got a release here that you can release that and do that. It won't come back on, so then I pull the battery, and it just ends up being a lot of monkey business. I have rebuilt this thing once. It's got a, a, a kit that you can 
put it in here and rebuild it. Um, but I don't use this thing enough that um, it, it's just not working well for me. So uh, that's when I went and looked at the Milwaukee and to see what I could, you know what how that would work. Um, so let's grab the Milwaukee and we'll try that. So on the Milwaukee, you've got uh, an on-off button. And this will, I believe it shuts down after a period of time. And then you can set up for single fire or rapid fire. I normally don't do the rapid fire. Um, this again, 30 inch or 30 degree angle nails. This does a lot, I guess there's a kit that you can go to, this will hold one clip on your normal uh, nails and you get an extension. I don't, like I said earlier, I don't do a lot of production stuff. So I'm not looking to have, you know, a, a ton, ton of nails on there. Um, this does have the adjustment. This I think is, is a little smoother adjustment on this one for your depth. Um, and I don't have it set all the way down on that one I did, so. One that one bounced up, but uh, a couple that bounced up. But generally, everyone's going in. You don't. I end up don't end up with that kind of that ricochet. I don't know if this is just driving faster and this is just doing it that way. But um, it's definitely uh, an issue. So let's see if we can set the two of them together. Mode. And they both do have a rapid fire and a single mode. Um, now this is some old. This, um, this is some old. 4x4 I just had laying around the shop. Uh, this actually works okay. This is this stuff is really dry. It's actually, I know it's dry because it's been through the kiln. It's blocking for my kiln. Uh, but when I go ahead and drive into LDLs, the DeWalt will never set that nail. Well, the Milwaukee will set it almost every time. So, um, DeWalt's gonna go away. It's just uh, not working the way I was hoping to, and uh, I'm going to have red tools, and uh, we'll go, you know, move forward from there. So, um, like I said, this is not something I would normally do, but it's just been enough of a game changer within the first hour of me running Milwaukee. After running this for four years, it was like it, there wasn't even going to be a question um, which one I was going to stick with. So, um, all right. See you next time.